Hello, my name is Tatiana and I am cross teacher. I decided to do my first floss tube video. This decision comes suddenly, but at the same time I was thinking about doing it for a long, long, long time because I am stitching already for maybe five years um, and for five years I'm making video for Russian uh, cross-stitch community. To make video for floss tube, uh, American or English speaking floss tube, um, I was thinking about it before, but I was not ready. Five years ago, um, first of all, I still shy about my English. And that is why I think um, I was just not ready to talk in English about cross-teaching. <laughs> Uh, let me start that right now I'm living in California, in US, but I was living in Texas before this. In California I'm already for six months uh, and in Texas I was for 14 years. This is like a long time. In 2007 I came to United States from Kyrgyzstan. Uh, Kyrgyzstan is a uh, former uh, Soviet Union Republic, right now it's an independent country and I try to put a few pictures about my country. I was born in Kyrgyzstan and I'm, I was Kyrgyz citizen before I came to United States. I did my education there and I came to United States when I was I think 23 right out of my medical school and by the way yes I'm um, MD uh, right now in United States but when I came to United States I was doing uh, research basic science research and um, clinical research and after eight years of doing research I started my uh, residency my medical education I got in Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is a really, really small country in Central Asia. As the original people look like Mongolian and they Muslim. It's beautiful mountain country and it's just gorgeous place to be. Um, however, this country is really, really poor and um, I was uh, living and I was born in the capital of uh, Kyrgyzstan and in capital people live okay, they live good however outside of the capital it's just poor country originally I'm Russian but I never visited Russia my father was born in Russia, he lived in Russia before he married my mom. Um, but during Soviet Union time, they were young and they decided that um, after marriage, my mom, my father going to go in Kyrgyzstan to live uh, with my mom um, and they end up there. And me and my sister was born in Kyrgyzstan. But at this time, me and my sister, we are in the United States. My sister is uh, still in Texas. And uh, because of my education, me and my husband, we moved to California for my fellowship. And yes, I'm married. And I also have a two years old son. He is actually two years and four months. Uh, this is busy life, but very interesting life that I have. And, um, and on top of that, <laughs> to stay sane, uh, cross-teaching helping me a lot. Um, we came to California for 
just for one year. Originally our plan was that I'm doing fellowship here for a couple of years, but um, after um, like I started my fellowship, I realized that I can start looking for job and th at this time I actually already found job and we are moving very soon to Mississippi. <laughs> I'm going to work there as a hematopathologist and yes, my specialty is hematopathology. Uh, this is a doctor's who making diagnosis uh, based on the bone marrow biopsy, lymph node biopsy, and we're making diagnosis of uh, lymphoma and leukemias. And also uh, hematopathologist as part of clinical pathology, we are uh, managing uh, labs in hospital. Uh, all these fancy tests uh, that right now part of the normal <laughs> medicine uh, sometimes clinicians uh, need specialists to consult about this specialized test and here we come. <laughs> Clinical pathologists can help them and answer many questions. Most of the time we consulting uh, internal medicine people, surgeons, uh, oncologists and um, in my case, because my specialty is leukemia and lymphoma, we are working with a uh, hemato-oncologist. Um, this is part of my uh, job and education, but I want to actually speak more here about my cross-teaching. As I said before, that I was doing some um, videos for Russian false tubes and I'm doing it already for five years. And I realize, because I start watching more and more floss tube, um, I realize that I also want to share with my projects with um, English-speaking community. And before I was thinking that I'm not interested, because I think I was thinking more that I'm shy, um, shy to talk in English about my cross-teaching because apparently it, it is much harder. <laughs> um, when I'm thinking about cross-teach, I'm not thinking in English. Um, that is why it's harder to explain that I feel and that I see in the language that is not my native language. Um, that is why all comments and corrections about language are welcome. I ready to learn, ready to improve and ready to talk more professionally about uh, what I'm going to show you. I want to maybe start uh, from the time when I started cross-teach. First time I tried cross-teaching um, when I was maybe 11 or 12, it was in Kyrgyzstan when my mom just told me, oh, there are like cross-teach existing and this is how it's done. And she explained it to me and even that time she was telling me that you cannot do knots on the opposite side of the cross-teach and all your crosses should be exactly the same direction. This is the only thing that she told me and I start cross-teaching. I actually, at that time, I started a couple of projects and I don't think that I even finish any of that projects because um, even I like crafting from there when I was a child. I always like crafted and did something and I really enjoy doing it. However, cross-teaching at that time I realize it's really, really slow. <laughs> I want something faster. I want result faster when I was a child. That is why cross-teaching was with me that time, maybe like a half year. That's it. Um, and when I was already here in the United States, um, uh, at that time I was doing uh, knitting, uh, crochet, and um, needles knitting and um, 
some beading, <laughs> crafting. I start watching Russian uh, YouTube about um, knitting. And there was a couple of people who I followed and I really enjoy their projects and their talking about their crafts. And one of the per person who was a knitter, she also started talking about uh, uh, cross-teaching and she started showing a couple of projects. And I saw like, oh, cross-teach exists and it could be beautiful. But at that time I was not really interested. And you know, when you start watching like crafting YouTube, like additional suggestions uh, start coming. And I found another uh, crafting person. Uh, she over also Russian speaking, and she did only cross teaching. And I did like her channel. I did like the way that she was talking about her crafting and about her cross teaching. And I just start watching her. And when I was knitting, I was watching um, how she was talking about cross stitch. And after that, I go to um, store, crafting store here in the United States. Uh, we have Hobby Lobby and we have uh, Michaels. And I just came to the section with um, embroidery and cross stitching, and I saw a couple of kits. And from that kits uh, that you can buy, I no, nothing that I liked and because I was thinking oh no it's too hard it's like impossible because with knitting I get used to you can knit anywhere you want you can knit in the car you can knit when you're in the park you can knit uh, like without looking on the um, chart you can just sit and knit and talk with somebody watch TV and knit without even looking in your hands um, that is why knitting for me was like must have uh, during my time when I just relaxing. And with cross teaching and charts and kids, I realized that no, it should be very different crafting. When you sit and you concentrate and you do like little tiny movements, but you have to spend time and you have to be involved in the chart. That is why when I saw Kit, I didn't like it at all. And I was like walking in the Hobby Lobby and I passing by some another charts. Yeah, and it was just fabric with a print. It was just colorful print on the fabric. And I stopped and I started looking and I'm like, oh, this one I can do without chart. I don't need anything. I can just take it and just do, do it. And this was my first um, cross stitch that I ever did and I completed it and I just bought this fabric and I even didn't buy threads because I also did a lot of quilting and at home I had a lot of um, threads for, for sewing machine like this kind of threads and these kind of threads I actually brought even from Kyrgyzstan. When I came to United States with two like baggages, I decided that, oh, I have to have the threads. I have to bring threads in the United States. Maybe, maybe here is no threads. What I'm going to do? What I'm going to craft? <laughs> and I brought a lot of colors of this type of threads. And using this, I finished my first project and um, I think originally here should be just design and I'm not sure if I have to finish the uh, back however I did finish it because as you can see the fabric it's it's horrific <laughs> uh, fabric is really bad and um, the threads in the fabric have like humongous hole in it. That is why I decided when I finished the project, I decided that yes, I have to have the this back. And 
I use, if you see, I use two colors, some kind of yellow and uh, a white acryl color and I did these diagonal lines and I decided I need to create something interesting and I created this border. It's easy to create something like that. There are a lot of patterns and samples that you just see. I pick up something that I liked and I created these borders. And at that time I loved it. I thought, oh my God, this is like fantastic. This is the best job, that uh, the best project that I ever did. And I really, really liked it. And actually, I think this is um, 11 count and I was using six threads like that, doing crosses. Um, most of the time, like 95% of the time, they are same direction. <laughs> However, I can see that some of them are going opposite direction. I can see one here, maybe one here. That is why it's Right now I can see that it's not ideal, but that time I finished this and this project I was working like when we traveling in the car, me and my husband, we like to just sit in the car and drive through all United States, like different states, like 10 hours drive and on the way we stopping. That is why this was the best project that time. Actually, that time we were actually coming to California and not California, we come into, no, it was California, we came to California, we visited California and we were driving here from San Francisco to San Diego and we spent some time to in Los Angeles for maybe like four or five days, yes, I think this is project that I worked in here, everything starts in here and here I am uh, doing my first first tube video and showing how much I grow in five years. Um, this was my second project. It's similar pattern, similar fabric. You can see how bad is this fabric and how big holes and I did the same um, the same style using like six threads, this small piece. After I finished this, I actually go to Walmart and bought this kit. This was, was kit from Butsila. And um, I worked on it and I hate it. It was difficult to do because it was difficult stitches, different directions, half stitch, cross stitch. Um, petite stitch, <laughs> back stitch, and it was a difficult paper chart for me. And I bought actually another kit also from Butsila, a little bit smaller with these pink flowers, and I also worked on it, and I also didn't like it. I didn't enjoy the process, and I didn't enjoy that I have to sit on one place, uh, organize my space and working on this um, one project and concentrate on the paper chart. Um, I didn't like that I was not flexible. And that is why after that time I start looking maybe something else is existing. And I realize that there are also some um, apps that are available for phone, uh, iPhone or iPad, decided to try it. And I bought AIDA and um, I still, I actually that time already bought um, threads and I decided to try stitching using the uh, iPad and the app that uh, named uh, Cross Stitch Saga. At first I did like it, but I worked on it for maybe like months and again because of uh, there was no flexibility with this crafting and I have to concentrate on this crafting 
too much, I didn't like it again. And I back to knitting and I stop uh, cross stitching. And I thought, okay, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm not going to cross, cross stitch at least at that time. And because I keep watching YouTube and I heard once that there are some kits available in China, in China, on the AliExpress website. And that kits was looking like this. Let me show, for example, this. And the name of the company is Joy Sunday, and they have a lot of threads. For example, in this big, thick. Uh, bag there are a lot of threads a lot of threads because this design it's huge it's like 90 by 69 centimeters but it's just like one of the example but this is a project that i'm working right now however this aida have picture on the on the fabric and again i don't need to use any charts i can just pick up uh, the color or pick up the um, sign from the kit and just uh, using number of the thread just for example if I working on the pink square and I just pick up the number that belong to this pink square and I finish all pink square after that it's like bright yellow square I finish all bright yellow square after that, it's like blue diagonal line or blue, like red check mark. And it's so easy. And I decided to try because I, uh, I saw that it is available. I bought my first uh, chart, my first kit, and I decided, okay, I will try first one. If I will like it, I will buy more. And I loved it. I loved it so much. I start working on it and I finish my first one and by the time I finish my first kit I already bought like 50 and 50 kits <laughs> like 50 kit like that I would show you uh, more that I started and I continue watching and I realize I start watching more floss tubers like Russian floss tubers and I realized oh my god it's like so many charts and uh, types of uh, cross stitching available and so many ways of cross stitching there are like patterns that you can buy in the PDF there are patterns that you can have in XSD format and uh, you can choose different type of fabric you can choose different type of threads uh, you can cross stitch with one color you can do something like that you can uh, stitch a huge piece like um, heaven and earth designs or like another charts like that and I start trying many many things this was my first love here I started and this Actually, this type of cross-stitching brought me to cross-stitching world and I still love it. However, right now I like samplers, I like um, another designs and actually I like to try different type of embroidery, not only cross-stitching and I also have projects like that. and. I start trying many many ways of stitching and I like the variety that cross stitching can give me and I like that I can buy kit and at this time I already have kit that I can uh, cross stitch and I even can cross stitch using the paper chart and Apparently now I'm okay with that and now I actually really like it. Uh, however, I like a lot to use special app uh, 
cross uh, stitch saga before I was using it a little bit and I just stopped cross stitching but after this I realize I love cross stitch and I try start to use cross stitch saga more and more and more it means that at this time uh, I'm between Joy Sunday kit from Aliexpress I'm between samplers that you can buy in the PDF chart or um, like use XSD format that you can also buy and also I start even creating samplers or designs by myself and actually from um, I want also in the first um, in the beginning uh, uh, show you a little bit the way that I'm stitching um, this kind of kit with uh, these prints on the fabric and actually these prints uh, could be easily washed away just putting in the room temperature water and after like one hour or a couple of hours um, you just uh, wash it with water you rinse it again you keep it in the water and you change the water again and after one hour of water manipulations um, this print goes away and um, and after print goes away you you will have only the whatever you stitch with colorful threads and I think in this kit uh, like threads are SHS they kind of artificial it's not cotton but they are DMC colors uh, they relate to T DMC colors and um, I really really like this type of stitching and this I stitch actually by hand um, I'm because fabric it's kind of firm and uh, on this type of fabric your crosses look really nice even without using any hoops uh, without using Q snaps or frames I just stitch like that and I move with my threads and I pick up different color and stitch another place and uh, on the pieces that are huge like this like I said it's like 90 centimeters actually started in the centers and I move away from the center and right now I think I partially finished just first swan and the design goes in the different direction and the, here you see how huge would be um, uh, stitching of one color and this would be the sky this beautiful beautiful sky sunset or sunrise I'm not sure but I really like uh, how this swans looks like in this water gold yellow water with these beautiful leaves um, I want to try how I want to see how the swans would look like and here we see that they kind of uh, shiny but this time I'm still working with these swans and I'm using these brown colors <laughs> I want to see how this will turn and I want to see how this like white swan swimming in the this uh, sunny sky <laughs> but for now I still just stitching these brown colors but it's supposed to make them white and like I said this kind of uh, Joy Sunday kits I stitch by hand without using any hoops and I use threads and a needle that was in the kit and actually I also should say that that time when I just started I tried different um, stores on the Aliexpress and uh, different um, uh, types of um, this kind of stitching and I didn't like many of them only Joy Sunday kits I did like because I like the way how clear their um, pattern on the fabric 
uh, they, it is not shifted and it's really easy to see, really easy to read. And I, I know that it's kind of really vibrant and bright and it has nothing to do with the real colors at the end of the stitch, but at the same time I do enjoy it a lot, even now. But after that, I start trying different things. And I realize that people can stitch with uh, different uh, fabric, linen, and some other fabric. And till now, actually, I'm not really familiar with all that threads because I'm, I never tried DMC threads. In United States, I'm living here, but the try time I started with um, these Chinese threads that as high as, and I am really okay with them. And I realized, like, why I need even to try other threads if I do like it. And they are cheap, they are nice, and. I think I also enjoy the process of cross-stitching and I am not really want to try different kind of threads or fabrics and I also like the idea that I can stitch from the, the threads that I can easily buy anywhere and they are maybe not supposed to used for cross stitching however they could be used for cross stitching and i try to like these kind of things and i try to see that yes i was right and i can cross stitch with some threads and on some fabrics that people created not for cross stitching i'm saying this just to give you a heads up what's going to happen on this channel because I'm stitching with these threads that are supposed to be used for sewing. I also stitching with these threads, and this is um, threads um, I also bought on AliExpress, and this is uh, called Milk Cotton, and I have like 50 colors of these knitting uh, threads, and if you see these threads actually uh, contains six small threads. This is very similar to the threads that we are using for cross stitching. However, this is uh, uh, it called milk cotton, and um, it's these threads are very soft. And I'm using this type of threads a lot, especially for for the project that I create. I create myself. I also use these kind of threads. These threads actually was a gift from my mother and she bought it in Kyrgyzstan on market. And I got bag, huge bag of this kind of um, um, threads. <laughs> I don't know how to call this thing. But I think I have like six uh, silver color and you, see, you can see that they are huge and six gold color. I do use, I start using this uh, gold and silver a lot um, recently. Fabric that I use using. I actually start buying some fabric. Uh, first time I found some fabric uh, in the Hobby Lobby store that was just fabric, but I saw um, that threads are very it's it's equal like parallel um, horizon, horizontal and uh, vertical um, number of threads was equal and I realized like oh I definitely can use this kind of fabric for cross stitching why not why everybody buying such uh, expensive li linen and I, when I saw a couple of linings in the store, I realized I actually do not like it at all because it's like very thin and uh, you can see through. 
I didn't like quality of it. I wanted something that is beautiful and nice and uh, the fabric that I bought just for sewing looked much nicer and it was like much less expensive. And when I realized it, I decided maybe I need to look just, uh, need to search more fabrics that not supposed to use for cross stitch, but I can use for cross stitch. And I found a lot of different type of fabrics. And I did buy many of them on the AliExpress. And if you see, I have this like humongous, it's like one and a half meter, it's like one and a half yard, even more um, horizontal, and it is like one meter, one meter. And this kind of fabric you can buy for, I don't know, maybe like $15, $15, this humongous piece, and you can have maybe like 20 different colors and this color is really beautiful gray and if you can see that it has some beautiful um, threads beautiful lining however on other side if you can see there are tiny um, um, special uh, materials that you basically iron it was ironed um, to this fabric on the opposite side but on this side, it's like beautiful threads. And because of this uh, stuff was ironed on the back, actually, when you stitch on this, it's holding the threads so nicely. And yes, this is artificial fabric. It's not uh, cotton. It's artificial. However, threads are beautiful. And I do have a lot of projects that was done on this type of fabric. For example, this actually that I showed it to you, it is 20 count, like one over one, it's 20 count. It means that if you're going to do crosses two over two, it would be like 10 count. And this is another uh, color of the same type of fabric. And it's again like humongous piece. And this has like a darker blue gray color and it's beautiful. If you can see the threads have uh, like lighter and darker uh, colors that each threads going through it it's beautiful <laughs> and on opposite side you also can see that it has this ironed uh, thin material that holding these threads nicely i think this type of fabric used for furniture or pillows or stuff like this. However, it is kind of really equal on the horizontal and vertical. It's like 20 over 20 or 19 over 20, something like that. And I do use this type of uh, fabric a lot. I never bought any linen uh, that everybody using. I always keep um, cross stitching on this type of fabric. I have another example, and another example, actually, I think it is 30, uh, 30 count. And again, this is the opposite side, and this is the side, actually, this is, uh, this example I tried first time, and I just got it, and this is a half meter, and because when I want to try something, I... First, I buy just small piece, and I, if, if I like it, I can buy different colors, bigger pieces, and I did get this piece recently, maybe like months ago, and I bought another two colors of humongous piece, um, because I think I'm going to, it, this fabric going to be one of my favorite for different type of samplers. And we see that it's like one and a half meters and it's just a half meter um, here on the other side it's actually not that the same material that was ironed there it's um, I think this material uh, was I don't know it's just part of the same fabric but again it's holding these threads together 
and this has also beautiful orange and light orange um, colors it's like not threads it's not one color it's like two colors in one thread and i think this one will be my favorite because this one i'm going to use two over two the previous fabrics that i showed it show you it's like a 20 count and i use like uh one over one when i do tiny crosses it's 20 count but it is one over one this is type of fabric that i am using a lot and i just want to show you just a couple of examples of what i'm doing with this fabric and threads this is famous design it's autumn by uh, this is chart from uh, coolers design uh, i think coolers design charts and this is uh, as high as threads this is dmc color and this is actually different type of fabric this fabric it's um, cotton However, you see on the opposite side, it has very thick material. It's kind of thick. This is a fabric for furniture. However, this is 31 by 32 count. And this is how my cross stitching look like on this type of fabric. And I, I just enjoy it. This is one of my active uh, project right now. And another project that I'm doing. This is um, sampler anagram diffusion and from anagram diffusion. I think this kind, uh, this kind of charts are not available anymore, but I just love it. I love it so much. I started this project long, long time ago and this is 65% done. And this is the same fabric that is 20 count and I am um, cross stitching with these threads like three colors of these threads and I'm doing I'm using two threads half stitches not cross stitches it's half stitches and again this is one of my active projects that I'm cross stitching every month I choose four different colors these charts is like impossible to find right now but when I saw it, I keep looking and looking and looking and looking. I just couldn't find it. And I just found free chart in the internet. And even till now, I try to find the original chart on the eBay. I keep checking sometimes, but I do not see it. But I found some version of this chart maybe like four years ago. And I keep it for some time. But I started this maybe like two years or maybe three years ago and yes this project is was on hold for some time um, and right now I'm actively continuing it I hope to finish this project and previous one this year what else I can show you you know I also want to show you as you can see uh, on this uh, fabric I'm um, using Q-snap a lot and I using this this is something that um, we bought in the stores for wood and metal work and as you can see this part you I just put in here I put in here This uh, type of uh, equipment I actually found on the Russian floss tube. Uh, one lady showed that she tried it and she really liked it. And you see, you can use it like that, and you can put your hoops here, or you can put your frame or Q snap here, or you can put it here, and you can put it like that, like this. For example, I'm doing this and I put my Q-snaps here and I cross stitch and I can sometimes turn it like that and put it here and 
it just depends. It also depends from the uh, what I'm stitching on. This is a uh, huge design from uh, Hayat, and this is called the Spell Keeper. Huge, and it is 650 over 520. Um, it should be big. It should be 320 stitches. I'm um, stitching on the Aida uh, Acru color, uh, 16 count, and I actually stitching using the uh, SHS threads that I bought also on AliExpress, and I stitching by half stitch using four threads. It means that I take two threads, um, um, bring them through the needle and turn them and at the end I have four threads and I'm doing half cross uh, half crosses by four threads and I do love it. <laughs> I love this project. At this time I finish only 27% and um, I'm going to continue. I think this is my 10 years project. At least I planned like that because every year I should stitch 32,000 stitches uh, and this project would be completed in 10 years. <laughs> I love it. I started this project three years ago and I'm definitely going to continue. This is my only Hayat that I have for now. I feel like these kind of projects I don't want to start many of them uh, one project like this is enough for me uh, when I finish this I will start something else because I have a huge variety of different types of project that is why one Hayat for my happiness is enough <laughs> I have other projects for example that I started to create um, by myself and let me show you. This is project that I'm creating by myself and this is a wedding anniversary sampler that I'm doing for my parents. At this time you cannot see <laughs> because this is just the beginning. At the end it's supposed to be uh, 150 stitchers and this is uh, Congress Tramin fabric it's 24 count if stitch one over one and i was inspired by these designs that i found in the uh, magazine um, and this is these beautiful roses from this side from this side and this would be heart and uh, the monochrome that is white in here also have these beautiful roses and in the middle here is supposed to be writing uh, names of two people and uh, like family and dates. I was inspired by this design and I decided to do it for my parents. However, I decided to make it more personal and created something around it. I wanted to add more, more pigeons and angels and hearts and flowers and um, different types of embroidery stitches. It's not only cro cross stitch. Actually, all of this is not cross stitch. It's half stitch, also using as high as threads. And um, it's just half stitches uh, through this one thread of Congress trimming. And this is the way that it's turn turning right now. I think it's beautiful. And I also use here some uh, silver threads that I just showed you to you. This is the silver threads. And on the bottom there would be our family house, some images from our life, some maybe picture uh, that is uh, simplified pictures of my parents standing next to each other and a lot of angels and a lot of flowers, a lot of pigeons. And I created this idea that I want to pigeons and angels uh, be done by silver. 
and the way that I, for example, create this design, I just take the pan that you can use it on the fabric and it could be washed away with water and I just draw on this fabric and uh, on top of my draw I start stitching. I do not create a pattern in the computer, I just create pattern over here by drawing and after that I, for example, you can see with these angels that it first was like draw here and also I create these like lines, this would be the flowers bench <laughs> and on the opposite side it would be something similar to this. Basically only this part is done maybe till here, completely done, the rest of it is not done and again this would be like very long piece it's button a uh, button and um, finished piece would be 150 stitches but this is one of my favorite favorite sampler uh, samplers or designs that I'm working right now another design it's famous modern for folks embroidery uh, 2021 sal I'm also stitching it on the congress trimming and this is 24 count and if you can see the uh, fabric congress stramine also have gold uh, thread inside of the fabric and i'm stitching this design by silver and gold threads like that uh, these threads are very tiny and i'm taking uh, two threads um, turning them that is why at the end i have four threads and I stitching um, a half threads, a half, a half stitches um, with these four tiny, tiny threads. And this is how it turns. I, I love it. For me, this um, pattern right now, it's like the most beautiful project that I have ever, ever had. Because it's so sparkly and it's just gorgeous, it's beautiful. I, I really, really enjoy stitching it. Yes, it is half stitches on the Congress Tramine and this is sampler. Basically, direction of the half stitches is important. However, for example, on uh, designs like that, like one half I do this cross stitches, another half I do opposite cross stitches and they symmetrically um, beautiful but uh, designs like that um, like for example bird I can use one uh, uh, direction half stitches a vase it was another direction half stitches and in this case I can play with it and it's look differently direction make a little bit changes but not in in the big way that you just uh, pay attention like direction of the threads no it's still just beautiful and um, this sale actually for three months and just yesterday i finished this march piece every month uh, modern for folk embroidery send um, uh, first uh, um, first uh, day of the month you get in, in your email uh, just one piece and basically it would be 12 pieces and right now we have already three i'm really looking forward to the next one and i am planning to finish it in this year and it is beautiful it is just just beautiful and i really love the way that um, i'm doing it with these colors this was my first try of these threads and i loved it i think much more um, projects are coming by these type of threads. And one of those projects that come in by silver, and this would be just one color thread on this beautiful blue color Congress Tramine. Again, I'm doing half stitches with four silver threads. And this actually would be uh, long dog sampler um, the 
this is the Templar prophecy. I'm not sure how easy you can see the design because this actually work of only two days. I did like it and this was restart because the first time this design I started on different fabric. It was cross stitches, like different colors, like everything was different and I didn't like it. But when I was working on my modern folk embroidery cell, I realized like this, the Templar prophecy have so many knights and it's so manly. That sampler for me very manly and I decided on the blue fabric with silver threads it should be beautiful and I think it will be beautiful. I think it will be. <laughs> now I want to show another design that I create by myself in addition to the my sampler that I'm doing for my parents and this design I call my family. This actually um, some image, <laughs> let's say image, it's not picture of me, no, it's my image, my baby image, my son, baby son image, and my husband. I did try to create the image that's very similar to mine and my husband and my son, and actually the way that I did it, I just took our pictures and I just look the way that our face is done and the, my husband, he's like tall guy, his face is bigger than my face and our tiny, tiny baby has very chubby cheeks and tiny little nose and round beautiful head. <laughs> and this design I started I think maybe two years ago I really enjoy working this project even though I didn't work on it for a long long time. I planned that this would be big piece like this only center and this not even done. I'm doing it by cross stitches also using this type of threads and this type of gold threads and why I start liking using these threads? Because designs that I create, at the end, I don't know how many threads I need. I need like uh, 10 skeins or I need like 50 skeins, I don't know. But with this one, here actually 50 meters or, no, I think it's more, maybe 250 meters here. And 250 meters of um, six threads and it's a lot I can stitch a lot with this and I sh shouldn't even worry about that these threads will end with my stitching at least it didn't end none of the color end yet <laughs> even though like gray or this greenish blue or blue colors I use a lot but still I'm really far away from finishing any of these um, knitting uh, threads but it's really comfortable because I can just create the design without thinking like where I'm going to take the color uh, what if color will finished and the another color would be having some differences no, here I can just stitch and think about only whatever I imagining and want to create instead of thinking like where I'm going to take a thread if it will be finished. And, and I do like stitching with it because it's like soft and um, it's softer than uh, actually SHS and it's much softer than DMC. Because DMC I tried in the store, but I don't have even single project that I stitch with DMC. Maybe that Butsila kit that I still have and I still didn't finish, I think there they have DMC threads, but I'm not sure. But that threads, they thinner than SHS and they a little bit more... Um, no paper <laughs> like uh, because SHS they much softer and I like the 
stitching process, not um, stitching, uh, not the quality. Like for me, quality is less important. And because I enjoy touching the these synthetic SHS threads, that is why they soft, they bright, they nice and I don't have any problems with them. That is why I don't see a reason even now try like DMC threads. Um, I started with uh, these SHS uh, threads and till now I think at least for now I'm going to continue with it on top of these threads like this. What I'm going to create um, on top and at the bottom it would be some maybe ornaments uh, and these type of ornaments I want to um, just create from my head whatever I feel beautiful whatever I feel have some meaning because all these images that I put here they have some meaning for me um, these designs they just beautiful or I also look a lot of um, documentary movies about like Russian culture, uh, about families in the olden uh, Slavic era and about the designs that was used for embroidery in the older era of um, Slavic culture. And I inspired by that images that mean something for the family, for their health, and uh, I think every design has some meaning. And in some designs, I will put my meaning. And that is why at the end, these designs may be beautiful only for me, but stitching it and creating it uh, bring me a lot of joy. And this is why Starting from the um, Joy Sunday kit, <laughs> going through the patterns that I use uh, from the PDF, uh, like long dog samplers or modern folk embroidery samplers, and here I come to something like that that I just just paint on the fabric with threads, something that I want to see, and continue that idea I have this design so far it looks like that I was again ex inspired by these designs that I stitch from some cross stitch journal and this was just beautiful tree that I uh, stitch with uh, this the same fabric that 20 uh, count and I stitch over one thread and I stitch with uh, one thread of SHS and actually it's not SHS, it's some different type of threads that has this variegated color from the grayish pink to the grayish green and uh, this is how it's turned up. Turn. Um, I did change this part because this is a time when I was pregnant with my son when I was stitching this um, I finished this part and I realized that just to finish this one pattern, it's too easy. I want something more from this project. And I realized that I want to create sampler by myself that again will mean something for me. And I think this would be the final piece. It would be piece about my motherhood. And a lot of... Um, images that I will put here in this design, it would be about my child, about my uh, family, about what my family and what my motherhood means for me and my maybe some wishes, some, some of these images would be like my wishes for my happy family. <laughs> and as you can see another idea that I want to um, try here. It is like one color of fabric on another color of fabric. This is the same type. It's the same type of fabric. This is like beautiful um, 
br light br light gray uh, brown color and this is like bright cherry and I want you to see the threads in this color and uh, threads of this fabric it has some like darker brown uh, threads that may be mixed with this cherry red and it's just beautiful and I actually uh, doing it like applique in a way of putting one fabric on top of another fabric and one to one thread basically uh, here what coming next another kind of this another type of designs going to be add up on this fabric and some of this design also going to be done on the red and it's going to put here maybe here maybe here and a continuation of the cross stitching would be stitching on the uh, lighter uh, gray brown as well basically stitching would be done on the red and stitching would be done on this color and i think it's just it's going to be beautiful and gorgeous let's see how it's turned turned down i will continue i think with this uh, piece this is also beginning that i didn't stitch for a long time and i bought design I don't remember exactly, but this is twisted uh, band sampler, I think, and uh, they done in one color and they done in rainbow color, and the idea that basically it's like narrow design, and you stitch these kind of patterns, and they long, they going like down, and the size of this fabric. Um, it's actually equal this fabric fabric you see on the back it's again this like thicker uh, thicker soft uh, like tissue that um, attached to this fabric and it's the same type that I stitch my autumn sampler uh, their fabric is gray here it's like bri brilliant blue color and design would be from here till here and on the side uh, what I want to try I want to try this needle work I want to show you this is just some ideas that I really like I'm going to continue uh, basically this part I create myself but this part I'm going to use from this chart that I have however um, something uh, in between I also create myself this is part from the chart this part I create myself another going to be from the chart another line going to be created myself because here I also want to introduce another thing that I really like and it is this metal uh, like beads that I also love to see on my embroidery piece and this kind of beads I actually have a lot because before doing knitting and cross stitching uh, I was doing just some type of jewelry and I was really involved in it and I even bought many many pieces in the eBay but after that I stopped doing it I didn't like the part where I have to sell um, I did like the part when I have to create and um, design and do the jewelry, but I didn't like the part that I have to sell it, I have to do picture, I have to create a, a page for and description for every item. I didn't enjoy that part. That is why I just stopped doing it. Stop doing it. However, I still have so many beads and now I can use it some of it At least for my embroidery and this is what I start doing it here. <laughs> I think it's going to beautiful beautiful piece Another piece is that I'm also start creating this sampler um, 
I call that this is sampler notes for my son. Notes from mother to son. Actually, whatever you see here, it's phrase. It's phrase that I want to wish my son. And here, here going to be another phrase. Actually, this phrase is also finished. And there would be another phrase, and another, 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 another. Um, why this phrase? Because each of these um, design it's one letter. And putting these designs together, putting these letters together, it's like one word, another word, another word. This is just normal sentence and uh, abbreviated or encrypted uh, alphabet. And only me, uh, only I know the meaning of or uh, know what each letter means. I have... Uh, but idea that it's like nice, nice wishes that I wish for my son. However, I have so many wishes. And I realize by finishing this, I realize that putting all of them, and I already created the list with my wishes, everything that I want to put. However, this fabric is not enough. That is why I just stopped doing this piece I think I'm going to use it for something else. Um, however, I created another idea. Um, I'm going to restart this project on different fabric, uh, using different designs, but it would be even bigger. But this is my future plan. However, this is what I have for now. And again, if you can see some of the designs from the charts that I have, I also can uh, incorporate in the designs that I create and um, they start having different vision, different um, meaning, at least for me. <laughs> that is why this chart going to be restarted. Um, this is another design that I also going to create one day but the name of this sampler in future would be bee, bees flower sampler idea is that i'm going to create a lot of beautiful imaginary flowers in here as you can see this is something that you can put on your clothes however i bought like 15 different type of bees that sparkly beautiful and they look like this and they going to fly around my sampler or on my sampler flowers i'm going to stitch and bee bees going to just attach on my sampler and this is the idea. We're going to see how it's turned turned down or turned out. <laughs> but for now, as you can see, not much work done. It's still work in progress. Let me continue showing my other projects. Actually, I counted my projects uh, not long time ago. Uh, I did one video for my Russian channel and my um, links for my Russian channel I just put in, in the box below however I'm not sure if you're interested to see my Russian channel because I'm saying the same thing but in Russian um, but let me show more projects totally I have more than 50 this is project that I started recently and it's also 20 count artificial uh, fabric that I use and it's the same one that I show you in the beginning um, and this is grayish blue color and the name of this chart it's uh, I will put picture it is uh, superstition and it's just beautiful beautiful design that was uh, created by one of the Russian um, uh, designer of the um, charts and this design have 
many many small pictures and each picture have like some idea about superstition i think uh, the superstition in general really common in russian culture and in my family my husband is really superstition person and you know actually becoming a mother uh, we have so many superstitions that related to the uh, motherhood and child and being pregnant and I think these kind of things come into my life more and more and more and I don't know good or bad but it's just happening and um, when I saw this design I just fall in love and this is my two weeks ago start and I love it I love it I uh, stitch again with SHS threads, uh, one over one uh, fabric thread, and I stitch with um, uh, one thread of um, SHS. And here will be a lot of backstitch. Backstitch I'm going to do at the end, but at the end it will be just beautiful. Next design that again I found long long time ago, maybe uh, five years ago, I found chart in the internet. I am trying to find this chart maybe that I can buy. I know that it's like rare design and kit is not available anymore, at least I was not able to find this kit. However, I just, I am in love with this chart. And even though I'm going to keep trying to buy the kit or to buy the chart, um, however, I started this piece on Congress Tramin 24 count, and I'm stitching um, half stitches with using S two SHS strands, and it's turn turning beautifully. I really enjoy this piece. It is not easy to work because you, you see that it's like many, many small designs in swans and it would be two swans uh, um, turning to each other. And as you can see, for example, here we have the whale and we have fish, golden fish, and we have uh, mermaid. And also here would be at the end a little bit backstitch and more and more designs going to be continuing in the body of the each swan. But it's just beautiful, beautiful design and I really enjoy working on it. Unfortunately, kits are not really available and not easy to buy, but I love the design and I'm going to continue. Many of these pieces I started long, long time ago uh, from the chart that I found in internet. At this time, if I like the design, I try to find a regional chart. I'm working on it, but we will see. <laughs> My favorite piece that I'm stitching right now, it is Long Dog Samplers. And this is Pandemic. This is the only uh, pieces that I have right now and this is 14 count Aida no, 16 count Aida um, pewter color and this piece would be big it's going to be big and you see that I have maybe like even like 4 inches uh, of uh, space for between the end of the sampler to the side and here is the same but even though Still, it would be a big piece on the 16 count, it is big. And I'm stitching it using this <laughs> type of threads and using four or five different colors. I decided that birds and animals I'm going to do with this uh, uh, blue-green color and the design itself going to be this red coral color and some other designs like uh, hearts, this chart will have many hearts. I'm going to do this dark red. Beautiful piece that I'm going to continue. So far I have two old dog samplers. The Templar Prophecy that I will stitch on Congress Tramin and this is on the Aida. And I'm really happy that I started them on two different types of fabric with two different type of threads because in this case, they will be very, very different. Um, previous long dog will uh, stitch in silver, only one color. This long dog would be 
colorful and I'm really happy about it. And I love stitching on Aida. This is Zweigert. Um, I, I'm okay with type, this type of Aida. However, I do like this type of Aida much more uh, from Joy Sunday because it's thicker. It's thicker and firmer um, than Zweigert. And I like this Aida more. I think it looks much more beautiful than Zweigert. But I think I'm okay with Zweigert too. <laughs> Let me show another couple of beautiful pieces that I have. I tried last year uh, Hardanger. And this is my first big Hardanger that unfortunately not completed yet, but it's going to be. And this is chart Malacca. Uh, this is free chart that available on, the, on her website. And um, actually the middle part is the part from the chart, the part that I create on, the, um, on this side, it's something that I decided to add because I, I thought that, that this piece is too little for me, I want bigger. That is why this additional, like maybe five centimeters from each side, it's something that I ad added. And I do uh, this stitching with um, cotton threads that you can use for crocheting. Yes, that cotton tiny threads, actually beautiful threads for uh, stitching hardanger. And this is what I'm going to, not going to, I'm doing. <laughs> and I also like this uh, type of uh, embroidery in the hardanger. It just looks gorgeous, it looks beautiful. It's not easy to do, but it's beautiful. And this type, I also love it. This is something that was in the pattern, it's not completely finished. I still need to finish some middle pieces. Um, and of course I need to finish uh, the additional uh, lines that I added and on top of it I will add something that's supposed to be ending this um, fragment, the, this project. I will see you how it's turned out. This is my another hardanger that I started, but this you see it's just very very beginning. It's another chart that I found in the uh, internet and I think it's also a journal, um, actually Chinese or Korean journal uh, and I just uh, use the chart uh, without even reading the explanation. I think explanation not possible to see but I also, f um, uh, one of uh, my friend share the pattern in the cross um, stitch saga. Basically somebody from the PDF chart created cross stitch saga and they shared with me. However, I should say that for me it's more comfortable to stitch hardanger using paper chart. And this would be Christmas um, hardanger. This is I, um, how I decided to call it because I choose this beautiful green color with these bright red threads that again this is just cotton thread that's supposed to be used for crocheting and I decided to use it for hardanger and this is very similar fabric actually it's similar to the uh, orange one and you see on the opposite side it is the same this like um, type of fabric that you iron to another fabric and it's thick by uh, high temperature. Beautiful piece. This uh, chart that I bought uh, on Etsy, I don't remember the name but I'm going to leave uh, all the names and links below and I need to spend a lot of time creating all this um, putting all this information together because this piece I bought on Etsy however it's going to be just part of the samplers that I'm going to create at the end 
This is a, a finishing a size of the patterns that I bought and I did change a lot the designs because I did add colors. It's supposed to be like one color but I decided to use it like uh, two main col colors is that gray and red and gray is exactly this gray <laughs> and red and I also add some yellow uh, uh, highlights and some blue highlights tiny tiny blue highlights um, and here I'm going to add similar idea but instead of bees here going to be cockroaches <laughs> it's it's going to be beautiful sparkly shiny uh, cockroaches the biggest cockroach going to be sit in here and another four cockroaches would be on four different sizes sides or well, not sides corners and this cockroach is going to be looking on this cockroach and this cockroach is going to be sit here and those um, type of like jewelry was so beautiful that cockroaches were so beautiful that I decided that they would be perfect for embroidery piece <laughs> let's see how it's going to turn out and it's the same fabric 20 count artificial fabric and this is another piece that I have and this is the middle of the piece um, I think the name of this uh, piece it's Arabesca and I bought it uh, from the designer uh, Russian designer um, I don't remember her name but um, I also will leave it in the chart and it is Arabesca and uh, the finishing design going to be end in here and again I'm using this type of threads and you see how beautiful is this piece and I also added some gold threads my favorite gold threads and my favorite dark gray 20 count artificial fabric and as you can see that maybe two years ago I bought I, I bought like one piece of this fabric I count the threads, I realize that it's like equal horizontally and vertically and I realize that it would be beautifully used in the micro stitching or my embroidery. And that is why I decided and I bought a lot of pieces, huge pieces of different different colors. That is why right now you see so many projects uh, that I have that are done on this type of fabric. Another project that I have. Let me show you. Uh -huh. Again, it would be long, long sampler. And this sampler I call Bargella sampler. This is again just beginning of my Bargella sampler. But this beginning is beautiful. And it's going to be Bargella and needlepoint. Uh, sampler. I have two beautiful books uh, for Bargella and for Needlepoint and the designs I just want to incorporate as a sampler of Needlepoint and Bargella designs uh, by this uh, very um, synchronous um, way of putting <laughs> putting this, you see like this square equal this square, some square uh, or rectangle in the middle, this rectangle equal this rectangle, and each this each of this rectangle or square going to have like different designs of embroidery. And it's going to be beautiful. And then again, my favorite fabric. Another beautiful piece that I'm really going to work and try to finish this year or next year it is going to be done for my son and as you can see it's very very long and as you can see it's going to hang like that and it's going to be long like this long 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 and it's going to be finished here and this actually it's two meters long 
and as you realize it, it has sizes. This is the size when my son was born and it's all these numbers uh, in kilograms and pounds and centimeters and uh, uh, centimeters and um, foot. <laughs> like I, I have all numbers. I have Russian way of metric and uh, American way of metric because my son was born in United States. However, when I think about his size or his weight, I'm thinking in kilograms or grams. That is why I put it here. And also the date of when he was born and uh, our next measurement was in four months and the next measurement was in seven months for our doctor appointment, one year, one and a half year. Right now I'm working on one and a half year uh, writing. And next one would be two years that we also have and next one would be like three years, four years. I'm not going to do three and a half, four and a half, no. It would be just here. I just did all our doctor appointment measurements. This is my cat. And there would be just yearly I'm going to add it. Here I'm going to add or like stitch or sew some pockets. And these pockets, actually, I have these uh, designs already stitched uh, different colors the same type of fabric and this would be uh, designs on the pockets and in the pockets i'm going to keep some uh, toys or some stuff that is very uh, dear to my heart and <laughs> to my uh, son growing and on top of that i have a beautiful sampler also designs that I found in the cross stitch journal. However, I'm going to improve it a little bit. And um, I try to different type of stitching, just looking for the uh, way of stitching that I really like. This is the design of this scar from the chart. However, I added this frame. This uh, look like stem right now. And basically each car would be in this type of stem and this stamp would be like attached to this metric. Uh, basically, this metric is going to have a couple of projects. One project is this writing on this um, in main piece. These projects, designs that already finished, I have four dogs <laughs> like this, four puppies, and this would be four pockets. Another uh, project for this design it's like these uh, stamps with these cars and most important one it's my son metric and this metric look looking like this right now and again this would be attached to the main dark brown piece and this is how it looks now uh, i finished bottom part I finished this writing, I didn't finish this writing, and I'm working on this monkey. And this is from the Stony Creek, Stony Creek book, and this is a matrix that I'm working on right now. Basically, I'm working on this top part, and after that it would be just these branches and leaves, and I also need to finish this top writing. This is going to be beautiful, beautiful project that I hope to finish this year. And I also want to show you that I still have a lot of Jewish Sunday projects that I love to work on, still love to work on. And this is still my favorite pieces. Uh, again, this is not fully completed. Uh, I have Jewish Sunday project like this. This is a kit. At the end, it's going to be this. I have project like this from Joy Sunday. And at the end, right now, this is how it looks like. Again, I'm uh, stitching using all threads and all material from the kit. And my main piece pieces uh, that I'm working right now it is uh, this piece. I think I'm done, 60% done with this design. 
uh, sky from here to there completely done. This part maybe not even half done. <laughs> but at the end it's going to look like this. And another project that I really enjoy working right now is this angel. Beautiful angel. Of course, uh, because design is small and this is 14 count, the face doesn't look real. However, you still can easily see that it's beautiful, small angel. It's very fluffy and soft uh, wings and there would be uh, flowers and bird. Uh, this central lower part I didn't finish and the rest of it it's finished and everything will be done by cross stitch. I think to use this type of uh, design for pillow and I want the opposite side to be very furry and soft and I think it's going to be beautiful. I have other um, projects as well and there would be many of them but I think I'm going to stop now because it's been long long um, talk <laughs> and but I think I uh, said a lot about how I come to cross teaching I talked to you about who I am where am I and um, I'm really happy to introduce myself to your community. I really look forward to hear your ideas. I can see that I'm definitely a little bit away from the, the way that you're teaching here, but that is why I feel interesting. I'm, I'm very curious the way that you will react to my projects, especially Joy Sunday one. <laughs> I know that um, this is very questionable patterns. It's very questionable in the Russian community and I'm sure that it would be questionable in um, American community as well. However, if you try this kind of designs at first, it's really hard to stop. This is close to impossible to stop and if you will like the results and I have so many kits that I already bought from Joy Sunday and, and I bought it before I learn about YouTube or I learn about like so many different designs and way to stitch and I still love it and I start creating my own designs I also curious to see what you think about it um, I'm just going to share with my progress. Let's see how soon I can do it, at least once a month, but I will try to do it more often. And I will talk to you next time, <laughs> I guess. Thank you so much for your interest to my channel. I would be happy to see you next time as well. And I would be happy to read your um, comments and suggestions. I also should say that I'm not really active in the social medias. Medias. <laughs> um, I don't have Facebook, I don't have Instagram. I have only email and I have only YouTube. Um, I don't think that I enjoy spending time uh, reading the posts and reading all those comments. That is why I just don't do that. I think I don't have time for that. Uh, my life is so busy. Uh, with my family, with my uh, little son that is very active right now and with my full-time work and education but my education is going to be over soon in three months and from July 1st I'm going to move to Mississippi and start my new life there. Um, it's going to be new time for all of us. We're really looking forward to this big step I'm going to start working finally and my education going to be over with all these years of residency and uh, fellowship I think I'm ready to start working and I'm really looking forward um, but with all this busy crazy life my stitching and my crafting it's something that I really enjoy and I need it and I also like to do videos about my stitching that is why 
I am sharing with my progress on the, my Russian channel, but I decided to explore my uh, stitching world even more and start sharing with you. I hope to see you next time and thank you very much and bye for now.